My main defining moment of my career, number one, was the, when I opened up my own shop. I was 24 years old. I wanted to have my own business. Fashion was easy for me. I understood business. Uh, I knew I could have a business with fashion because I had a, a facility with it. And um, I opened my shop. And I only know that that was an iconic moment retrospectively. At the time, I was like, oh my God, I have a shop. Am I going to do well? What's going to happen? Am I going to go out of business? I was a little scared. But looking back, that is like an iconic moment in my life because it was my own. Um, and that's really what I wanted in my life. I wanted to control my life and not be dependent on any outside um, power. I want to be my own internal power locomotive. Well, I mean, when I talk about the past, the, I have, I, I like the 60s because it was very modern. That mentality was modern. It was future thinking. It was a little bit, you know, sci-fi, but it was future thinking. It was optimistic. It was cleaned up. Um, and it reflected a... Um, a modern attitude towards life in general, not only in the fashion. And I think we're seeing it um, being played out, like for something like Sex in the City, for example. That sort of independence, that stepping forward of women. You know, I don't really know that it would affect the way she dresses. I think. If she was blogging and live streaming about fashion and sex and you know sex in the city and the single girl and the like, I don't. I think she would. She would probably still be a fashionista. I mean, I've um, a couple of times recently when I was asked to style like I don't know some lifestyles or some styling things like that. Yeah, okay. What if we let's do a fashion blog around the front row? You know, the bloggers have now become the editors, so to speak. The bloggers are now sitting on the front row. And they're just all, you know, fashioned out, original, and they doing their looks. So I don't I think she would still be that. One of the big differences that I see in Asia is that people here are getting things done. Uh, and I like that because I like to get things done. I was brought up that way and I've lived my whole life that way. And uh, I, when I see people in Asia, I'm going, oh, like, these people are my kind of people. Like, I, I mean, in, whether it's in film or TV or it's like building a building, all right, I don't know how to build a building, but when I see buildings going up like that, I know these people are getting something done. Here.